Thank you for tuning in to another edition of the Vulcan Report. This Vulcan Report is for trading on Thursday, April the 14th, 2016. As you can see here, this is a live chart of the U.S. dollar index. And we're starting to come off from yesterday's rally. As I did mention in the prior videos, that the U.S. markets and global markets in general are in trouble unless the central banks can come up with a plan to provide ongoing stimulus. Well, there was a series of emergency meetings the other day, and the result of those meetings was behind the scenes liquidity being pumped into the market. And that's what you saw yesterday. Uh, the Federal Reserve, the European Central Bank, the IMF, and all those uh, players got together and decided they were going to provide stimulus. So this time it was on the other side of the pond coming out of Europe and you saw the uh, the, the euro come off as the dollar got a boost yesterday. Now you see it's coming off. On the daily chart nothing has really changed. You see we got to the top of the trend line resistance where it's getting ready to be sold off. Here was the first time. Here's the second time. And third time's a charm. Here we are. 93.68 now is in jeopardy of being taken out. We are overbought. Momentum is coming off. And this should be, uh, you know, par for the course, business as usual in the U.S. dollar unless they can come up with a plan that will sustain this type of intervention the markets have no choice but to come off and to fall back let's continue to get a, a closer look at what I'm talking about here here is the gold futures market that's also coming off pretty hefty this morning uh, you'll note that gold is down by at least uh, eleven dollars as we speak uh, eleven point six eleven dollars and sixty cents in addition to that uh, you'll see that silver has also come off but it's holding a little bit better because it lagged gold for so long okay here you can see where the gold has been maintaining its trajectory trading above the trend line support here on the daily chart and it's also coming off uh, we, we spiked here continued to gradually move up then we came off then we curved up a little bit and now it's moving doing that sideways movement again except for this time we're getting closer to the Kumo cloud and this is where the market's really going to have to show and prove. Remember the last video I did, I said that gold needed a really strong close going into Friday. It has not happened yet. We did a spike to where I said. I said we need to close above this 1260.80. Well, yesterday we got a high of 1265.3 on the spike, but look where we are now. All right, we've come way off. So, if we get a weak close going into Friday, this sets up for a situation where we're now going to test the bottom of this range. It's really just a trading range at this point. It's a long-term trading range. All we did was test this old high here. Okay? So, it looks like this. Anything outside of the upper part of this this white line going across here is just noise. That's spiking. That's not real trading because there's no close there. There's, there's no follow through. There's no strength there. All right. You don't get that into the bottom of of the uh, the trend line here, which goes like this. So we're in a tight range. Top of the range, 1273.10. Bottom of the range, 1206.70. So we're just in a in a wide trading range all right just sixty some dollars all right so 
looking at a 60 hour trading range is not is not a whole lot here just moving sideways and momentum coming off as you can see here all right not good now we did have a cross here but we're still inside the Kumo cloud we need to get these support lines outside the Kumo cloud and that's I guess gonna take some time here so as it stands we're still we're still bullish but we're not we're not real ultra super bullish because these two support lines are not outside this Kumo cloud so and the momentum's coming off so gotta watch this to see you know how it's gonna behave uh, moving forward but as of right now uh, it's not looking like we're gonna get that close uh, let's take a look now at silver okay as you can see silver is playing catch up right now uh, its momentum has not come off it's entering into the overbought stage though um, and here we are okay so it's trying to close outside the cloud like I indicated I said a, a, a strong close above $16 uh, going into Friday if we can if we can close above $16 by the close of Friday then that shows that the silver has a little bit more to go it probably won't peter out until 17 if it can close above 16 by the close of Friday 17 will be in play for next week so any pullback here 16 should be strong support moving forward for the silver has a long way to go yet and because silver has not formed the formation has not done what gold has done leads me to believe that the gold isn't yet done either the gold is just going to take a break and move sideways giving silver the chance to catch up and then once silver catches up and gets up in here then that's when we decide what's going to happen but for now I see continuation uh, here in the silver with strong support now at fourteen fifty nine fourteen dollars and fifty nine cents is strong support right now for the silver all right now looking at crude oil crude oil right now has strong support at twenty nine dollars and eight cents and again it's just waffling inside of the support and resistance lines it's stand above this this purple support line here and stand below the orange resistance line it's trying to creep its way up to it though and right now uh, that's still at the $44 price level um, it's having some trouble up here at 42 we'll see what can happen there um, changing our time frame to get a better picture okay here's the daily chart as you can see broke above uh, this weekly resistance at $39.98 and it's just holding steady now as we speak it for the $42 level and like I said it's just hovering around there um, this market has a nice trend here overbought but trying to lock in okay trying to lock in a, um, a, a bull market scenario with more momentum going forward and on the daily chart thirty six dollars and thirty three cents is strong support but the real support is going to be found here on this weekly chart at twenty nine dollars and eight cents so when you look at the big picture which all we're doing is going up to this trend line here this forty four dollars is, is is going to be key we have not seen the upper trend line since we broke the trend line right here all right, back on the week of July the 28th of 2014. All right, that's the last time we've been anywhere near uh, the trend line resistance, and that's when we broke down below it. And since then, going on two years now, we have not even been up there. Last attempt was here, but we didn't make it. And then here it is now, here. So this still has a long way to go. Like I said, it's hitting resistance here. All right, I'm getting overbought. It may try to lock in for a bit, like it did back here. All right, we got overbought here, and then we locked in, and it gave us 
let's see here about three four weeks of gains before momentum came off and then we start marching higher one more time so crude oil is inter interesting right now so definitely keep your eyes peeled for the oil because it could still go either way it may just bump its head at this uh, this $44 price target and fall down or it could break right through it either way you put it you have two more dollars left in it that it can move higher so be cautious of that moving forward alright looking at the Russell the Russell managed to 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 get above the trend line resistance nice little breakout yesterday on that last time we did that was here and here third times the charm but look how far down we are doing it we're not doing it up here somewhere again market looks weak it's trying to make a run to that 1150 the bottom of the Kumo cloud uh, I, it's doubtful whether it's gonna make it right now strong support is way down here at 1014 so it's looking real uh, you know that this is going to continue let's take a closer look and look at where the daily is as you can see it's above the trend line support right here above the Kumo cloud and your immediate support right now is at 1084.4 so you don't want to see you know closes below that if we do then that's going to be a problem because then they'll get here to the bottom of this actually right here at the bottom of this trend line but it's supported by the top of the Kumo cloud so bottom of trend line supported by top by top of Kumo cloud at 1050 all right that's that that 1050 and you come back here to the long-term trend line and you see 1014 here so 1050 is your first sign uh, weakness and then 1014 the game's over and the market does one of these here all right so do or die let's see if the uh, the feds and the central banks can come up with a plan for ongoing sustained liquidity to the markets if it cannot then that's going to be pretty much game over at this point and let me just show you the E mini S and P 500. All right, as you can see, it's getting up here testing this 2095 level. All right, this is where the S and P is having the most problems. Is this 2100 level? Every time it gets up around here, it can't it can't do it last time we we closed up here we closed at uh, 2093 half then here um, we couldn't do it 2093 half is it so the S&P still has another uh, 15 20 points left in it to get up to that prior close and see if we can take that and close above that for the week that's what the S&P needs in order to get legs under here not overbought yet has more room that it can it can run it really has no excuse uh, 1916 and a half is going to be your strong support for this move if we take a look at the daily your first sign of trouble is going to be at 2028 all right that's your support there and once again the bottom of this trend line is supported by the top of the Kumo cloud so you have a nice air pocket here prices can collapse bit down to here and come right back up again that's what that means you have an air pocket right here so you gotta gotta watch this between here and here all right so you do have some wiggle room all right of at least 50 points below the trend line of air pocket that will that can support this market and help it to move higher all right so let's see here all right there's nothing else there so let's go back to where we were all right and there you have it so 
20, 93 and a half is what we need to close by the end of trading on Friday. And strong psychological resistance is at 21 even. Gonna need to really show and prove. We got up to 21, 10 and a quarter. And that's that seems to be a problem for this market. 21, 10 and a quarter is a problem. And our highest close is at 21.24 and a half and the spike high is 21.34 so that's what you're looking for in the E-mini S&P 500 let's see what it can do uh, going forward uh, we have basically 24 hours to get this thing done and that'll give us an idea of where the markets are headed so remember Bulls make money, bears make money, but pigs get slaughtered. Remember to take what you can and give nothing back. And if you have any further comments or questions or whatever, you can get at me. All the contact information is at the bottom of the video. Uh, so be encouraged.